Well, welcome everyone. We are so glad you are here. It is time for evening prayer at St. Peter's. Um, it has been a full day and uh, we are blessed. Uh, you should know that uh, one of the local Portuguese restaurants is providing food tonight for the community supper. We're back on the restaurant support grants the federal government has, uh, has extended. So um, our kitchen crew is taking care of uh, of our folks by being taken care of by others, which is always a great thing. As well, you will see our shop will be open tomorrow. We will not have morning prayer tomorrow. I have a diocesan meeting I'm going to in Trenton, and uh, I am committed to that, but I will be holding you all in prayer. So uh, you can definitely access any of the 300 some evening morning prayers we have somewhere, you know, just choose one that kind of hits your fancy and you're fine, but uh, you can keep the watch and the hours even in that context. We also would like to invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications if you're watching on YouTube this video as it is provided to you, and we're happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's in that regard. If you mm -hmm. are following us on Facebook, whether it is live or on the delayed broadcast as it dwells in the metaverse for as long as anyone knows, we are glad to offer that up to you as well. Please do follow and share and know that you all are welcome here at St. Peter's and we're happy to welcome you home. If you have any intercessions or thanksgivings, include them in the live chat, include them in the comments and the remarks. If it's in the live chat, we'll make sure they get prayed before the end of this office. And if it is in the YouTube chat, YouTube comments or it comes after the fact for Facebook, we'll make sure they get prayed at the next office, which will be evening prayer tomorrow at 5 p.m. All right, it is time for evening prayer. Here we go. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 49 and 53. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. Hear this, all you peoples, give ear all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, I will solve my riddle to the music of the harp. Why should, Why should I, I fear in times of trouble, trouble when, when the iniquity, iniquity of, of my persecutors, persecutors surround me? those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches. Truly, Truly no, no ransom avails for life. one's life. There, there is, is no price one can, can give, give God to God for it. for it. For the ransom of life is costly mm -hmm. and can never suffice. That one mm -hmm. should live on forever mm -hmm. and never see the grave. When we look at the wise, they die. Fool and adult perish together and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling places to all generations, though they named lands as their own. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp, 
They are like the animals that perish. But such is the fate of the foolhardy, the end of those who are pleased with their lot. Like sheep, they are appointed for Sheol. Death shall be their shepherd. Straight to the grave they descend. And their form, and their form shall, shall waste away. Sheol, Sheol shall be their home. But God will ransom my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Do not, Do not be afraid be when someone become rich, when the, when wealth, the wealth of their houses increases. For when they die, they will carry nothing away. Their wealth will not go down after them. Though in, in their lifetime, they count themselves happy, for you are praised when you do well for yourself. They will go to the company of their ancestors, who will never again see the light. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like animals that perish. Fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt. They commit abominable acts. There is no one who does good. God, God looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise who seek after God. They have all fallen away. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have they no, have they no knowledge, those evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God? There they shall be in great terror, and terror such as has not been. For God will scatter the bones of the ungodly, and they will be put to shame, for God has rejected them. Oh, oh that deliverance for Israel would come from Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice, Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Philippi. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be exploited but emptied himself taking the form of a slave being born in human likeness being found in human form he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even death on a cross therefore god has also highly exalted him and give, gave him the name that is above every name so that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow bend and in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, a song of Judith. Together, I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. A reading from John. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his hair with her feet. Her brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent a message to Jesus, Lord, the one whom you love is ill. 
who when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for God's glory so that the son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, after having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble because the light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he'll be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake, I am glad I was not there so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Thomas, who was called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of Christ's humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant, and grant us your mercy. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, Let your people sing, sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, For only in, in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You're saving, You're saving health among, among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the, Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts. For as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessing of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for the repose of the soul of Anne-Marie. We ask you to watch over Chris as his transplant team meets to assess the next step in his process of uh, receiving a new kidney. Pray for all those involved in that process. We give thanks for our kitchen crew of the community supper and for all the hard work that our Sunday school ministry and leadership are going through to get our rooms ready for the resumption of formation ministries this coming Sunday. Give John thanks. strength. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's up, I'm sorry. I, no, it's you. Give John strength, hold him up, keep him steady. Same for you, my friend. We give thanks for the Fresh Start and Clergy Care group of the diocese as they gather us together for Clergy Day. Uh, tomorrow and pray for safe travel for the clergy across the diocese as we gather at the cathedral in Trenton. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us in uh, evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. As we conclude this, we'll, uh, get, we have quite a few things happening this evening. There is a uh, refugee task force meeting that's happening at the diocese level, but I get to Zoom that from home. As well, our stewardship group is meeting tonight to talk about the fall campaign. In all things, know that we've been happy to have you with us. Welcome home to St. Peter's. We're closing out the day as we draw our feet up into our beds for sleep. Consider going to our YouTube channel, checking out the Compline section. That's a great way for you to have your nighttime prayers provided for you in French, Spanish, and English. We will see you tomorrow at evening prayer and keep your eyes peeled on the YouTube channel as well as the blog and make and uh, see what the see what the uh, rector's got up in his head. You never know. It's a very cluttered place. You never know what I'm going to pull out of the boxes up there. For now, take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.